Ago, ago. Welcome to Efa Safia TV. Efa Safia, ancestral knowledge for eternal wisdom. Efa Safia is one of the most educative and informative channels that teaches you the esoteric knowledge system of Africa. Today, we want to talk about spiritual cleansing by using the water element. And I have with me Togbi Toto Sao. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Today we want to talk about spiritual cleansing by using the water element. So one may ask, what is the water element? Well, uh, water element, virtually uh, every living thing in this cosmos uh, using water. Every living thing in this dimension, in this life we have uh, has or uses water. The reason is that uh, uh, looking at the creation story, per, uh, fan, what the fans said about the creation story, uh, water was the one that uh, came to, to birth or to give life to the, 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 the trees, the herbs, the animals, the humans, the fishes, and even the, the sea and everything. So uh, even for the earth to come into full completion, it is, or it was because of the earth, uh, water element that was responsible for the completion of the planetary system, the human and whatever you want to see. But for simple, uh, water element, uh, anything that you can get water out of, Anything that can form water is water element per African spiritual system. Anything at all that you can bring together that can form water, that can give you water, that means that there is a water element in, in that thing. So, yes, even the herbs, there are water elements. Let me take it this way. Okay. Some of the herbs have more water element in them than the other. It doesn't mean that the other herbs doesn't have. They all have, but looking at some of the herbs that can grow in water, directly they are water element. They can survive in water. Even the sea, they can survive in it. But some of the herbs cannot grow or germinate in the sea. They will die because their water element in them are not much compared to those that have water element in them. It can happen that uh, the fire element in a certain herbs are more, so it cannot grow in water. So at the end of the day, it will die. So most of the things that can give us water, bringing them together and to, to, to get water out of it, they are water element. Even the earth is also part of the water element. Okay, okay. So per your definition, water constitutes the greater part of uh, support for the universe or human life. Yes, it is true. Even the, the earth, water is more than 70% of what constitutes the earth. Uh, the same as we, the human beings, uh, the water level in us or the water element in us are more than the, any other element within. So uh, we have over 70% as human beings. Likewise, animals, trees, and all of that, they all have water element in them. So basically, Yes, water element, we can find it in almost everything. We can find it in almost everything. So, what is the importance of water element? Water element, you see, if you go to uh, what we call Bonlik Besan, Bonlik Besan, what it was saying is that uh, in water, water is life. Water was actually what came for evolution of life, or even for the completion of this planet that we have. It was water that came for the uh, element, the other element struggling to form the planet. It was water that finally came before the planet was completely, you know, finally formed. So, uh, water element is very important because. Without the water element, there wouldn't be a completion, there wouldn't be women, there wouldn't be animals, there wouldn't be fish, there wouldn't be any other thing. There, 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 there might only be 
fire element, the earth element, and the air element. If the water hadn't come, that means that it was water that finally you know, sealed the evolution process or the creation process in a firm perspective. Yes. That means life begins within the water element. element. So, okay. If you go into Bonik Befu, the, the, the clarity is, is there okay. that it was water that finally came. When the, the wakuao, the, the creative element, when this element came to form this whole universe and they got trapped, when the, 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 the element of the earth came, when the element of the air, the element of the air were there before the other element came. That is why our forefathers called this place B, the region of sound and air. So the sound and air region was there before the element, the, the other element came, you understand? But the one that came, the element that came to seal the evolution process or the creation process happens to be the water element, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Can we go for a quick short commercial break? Welcome back from that quick commercial break. Togwi, um, you are talking about uh, the water element being the supportive element of life. Okay, how can one um, balance that water element within its body? Because you said it constitutes 70% of the human body. Uh, how can you balance it? Yes, uh, as I said earlier, it was the water element that finally came for the other three elements to, to actually, you know, get to perfect their work. So for us to be able to regulate our water element, it is very important because uh, the, over 70% of water element is what constitutes everything in life. So, but uh, looking at if, for instance, if somebody is not feeling well, somebody is not well, and it happens to be a problem coming from the water element, this is where regulation of the element is of the water element is very important because uh, if you have over seventy percent of water element within, and there is a there is a problem that you know reduce your water element to a state that uh, is not good for human living it is going to disturb. That is the reason why once you are alive, you are strong. You don't have to wait for you to get sick or troubled before you start regulating your element within you. So regulating your water element within you, it is very necessary. And as you know, we normally link the days to the elements. And the water element also falls on Wednesday. Yes, water element falls on Wednesday, and we call it in a fan yeku. So it falls on Wednesday, and to regulate it is very important. You understand? Okay. It is very important to regulate your water element within because most of your element or the higher aspect of your element within is water. So if you go to hospital and you are diagnosed that your water level is down, it means that they have to give you water. They have to make sure you have water, you understand? So in that case, there is a need for you to start regulating your water element long ago before you know, you go into hospital for any doctor to be able to you know, diagnose that you have a problem with your water element. So it is good to regulate the water element. And there are uh, things that our ancient fathers, you know, left behind that we can use to, to regulate the water element. Okay. okay. We, um, how can one know that he belongs to the water element? For you to, everybody belongs to the water element. Okay. But uh, what happened is that uh, if uh, you, hap you happen to be uh, directly linked with the sources of the water element, Everybody is having water element within, but in evolution, or uh, when we were in the process of coming into human state, some people were more of water. 
whereas others were more of fire, earth element, and the other uh, fire element. You understand? So if you are more close to the water energies, water bodies, it means that you have to use their principles for your spiritual growth. Not just for your spiritual growth, but for your material and everything for you to be well in this life you must make sure that but to know whether you are close or you are from the water bodies you have to go through the advanced ceremony even though the day you are born the month you are born and also the time you were born also constitutes this element in you but for you to know where you really fall if you are more in percentage close to fire element you have to go through the fast ceremony before you'll be able to know that yes you have to go through the fast ceremony before you know that yeah that is the word from togwi to to sao welcome back yeah togwi and we are talking about the water element how what can we use to solve the water element problem like some problems that we face well, uh, there are so many things, as you asked earlier, about uh, what are water element or what is water element. Yes, there are so many things that our ancient fathers were using to solve problems relating to water element. So, uh, most of the herbs are there that uh, we classified that uh, they are water element not just herbs there are other things that we can use as well so when it comes to things that we can gather to solve problems relating to the water element they they are all over they are very close to us we can just go and get them as i was saying uh, most of the herbs that you can find in water bodies they are water elements if they are not they wouldn't survive in water and these are some of the things that our forefathers were using to to, to heal or to, to repair or to regulate the water element within our system. Yes. Can you mention some of the names of the herbs? Oh, that's if you are interested, you just give us a call. We'll give you that one. Some of these things are not something that we have to put on the public domain for people to abuse. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So is there any deity established by our ancestors? Well, the, there, is, there is a deity that was established to control or regulate the water bodies or to control water in everything in this whole universe. So this energy is what we call Voduda in the Efan system. So Voduda is under Yekumeji. You understand? Voduda is under Yekumeji. And because Yekumeji is actually what control the water bodies, and the Voduda is there to regulate the water body and make sure that uh, water, we don't, we, that, that we don't have shortage of water. Because if we have water shortage, it means that the, the, there's going to be a problem of, of health issues. So these energies are there to control the water bodies and make sure that uh, they take the toxic you know, chemicals out of the system. You know, of late, we are always polluting our water bodies. We are destroying our water bodies, which is not good. It is the same water that we are drinking. So if you are polluting the water bodies, you have to know that we are killing ourselves. So let us all be conscious of the element of water because it is actually what constitutes a higher percentage in women. So uh, let's regulate them very well so that we can all live a very uh, healthy, uh, long life. Yes. Let's be conscious and regulate this uh, element of water very well. Okay, that's the word from Togwi to Tosao. Yeah, Togwi. Yeah. Hello. Can water help you or the water element help you to prosper in this uh, life? Yes. Since it is the, these four elements that constitute the whole universe, they are capable of doing anything. So those who are on water elements, they can use water element meditations to grow themselves. It doesn't mean that if you are not directly you know, linked with water, you cannot use water element meditation or some formulas to grow or prosper. You can equally you know, go through it. 
So if you are interested and you want to know your elements, then you just have to contact us so that we help you to, to, to you know, assist you, how you can also use the sound formulas controlling the water element for your progress in terms of material prosperity and that of the spiritual growth. Yes. Thank you. Um, that would be your final word for our viewers. What My final word in terms of the water element, uh, we should put a stop to the attitude that uh, we are all doing, polluting the water bodies. It is not good. What we are doing, we are actually destroying ourselves, not the water bodies. Because it was water that finally came before human evolution came. So if we are polluting the water bodies, know for sure that you are killing, you are destroying yourself, you are polluting your own self and prepare the end time. It's not going to be far if we keep polluting the water bodies. Thank you. Tagbe says what? We should take good care of our water bodies. We should not pollute them. Yeah. Um, my name is Efo Setanam. And this is why the time will permit us to draw today's curtain on this program. Remember to like, comment, and share. Thank you very much. And much appreciation goes to our engineer, Eric Havon. Thank you.